Jesse. So, oh. all right. So, comp day was yesterday. Um, did pretty well, made the top 16. Yeah. Uh, run us through your day. What happened? Okay. Well, we got up at 6 a.m., which is a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Had breakfast, took the train to the comp venue, warmed up, comp started at quarter past nine, did all right in pools. Um, won six out of six bouts. So I ranked seventh after pools. Uh, got a good run through the 32 where I had to fence Sholto. And um, yeah, it was gonna be one of us who was 16 and lucky enough it was me. And so, uh, got through 16. So you were knocked out by the Italian who ended up coming second. How, yeah. uh, how do you think you fenced in that, in that bout? What, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely could have fenced better in that one. Um, he, he got on my nerves a bit and I allowed my emotions to get the better of me, really. Yeah, he was really annoying. Anyway, so, like, do you think, because we haven't had that much training coming in, do you think that was um, a factor or was just... Potentially, yeah, I think, I was fencing well for the rest of the day, which isn't that particular bout where I wasn't fencing very well. Could have been tiredness, could have been me getting annoyed at him, combination of factors. What about tactically or...? Tactically as well, yeah. Tactically. I, didn't, I didn't really fence the bout very well, tactically. So, we've got CIP next, obviously. That's a big step up from the con we just had. Um, do you have any like goals for that one, or are you kind of just taking it as, um, as it comes? Well, for Olympic qualification, I know that I need to make a couple of 64s um, at Senior World Cups, or a 32 in one of them. So, my goal is to make a 64 for this one. Fair enough, and so sim same again for Bond. For uh, Bond as well, yeah. 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 All right, awesome, thanks man. That's right, Jesse. Dodgy, like you have to get the timing 100% perfect. We had our first day of training at the National Institute of Sport here in Paris uh, at INSEP. The facilities are amazing. Um, but we fenced the Eden Cup a couple of days ago, and uh, now I've only just had time to do a little summary of how the comp went. Um, I thought these trainings are, we did quite well. Ned Fitzgerald made a top 16, going out to uh, the guy who came second. He lost to, he beat Sholto in the 32, so having two trainers in the 32 isn't bad. Um, some of the younger guys did really well, especially Eve, um, who's one of the younger guys from New South Wales. Um, uh, he made it out of pools, winning two bouts, which was really good. Um, I won four bouts in my pools, losing two. It came 35th out of pools, which I was really happy with. Like I started off the day pretty slow. I wasn't moving very well. I just I didn't have any sense of timing or distance. Also, kind of going back into a World Cup level and international level where the fences are so aggressive and you, you have to fight so hard for every hit. I don't think I was so prepared for the level of intensity that came across in the competition. Like, because the first two bouts I lost were also my first two bouts that I fenced, which ho which may have done something to what kicked me up to fence so well for the next four bouts. That being said, I went out in the first round to an Argentinian. He was a decent fencer, he could fence, but even now I'm not 100% sure what I could have done better. Maybe tactically a few things weren't working. For example, I you know, kept trying to attack, attack him a bit directly and he'd counterattack and it would just be one lie. For James with me here, James had a very different experience, I think. Him being his first international comp. Yeah. So um, what do you think? Oh, it was really difficult. Um... Didn't win any bouts in pools, which I was pretty disappointed about, but apparently I had a tricky pool. Um, that being said, I don't think I was really prepared at all for um, how intense the competition would be, because I just like felt like I was sleeping kind of when I was in my bout, and um, it wasn't at the same intensity that any of the other fencers had, so like I, I, like, I wasn't really pushing my body enough at all, um, because my mind wasn't in the game. So what do you need to take from that into the next, um, if not the next Senior World Cup, definitely the next Junior World Cup. With like that, like the Senior World Cups are on a completely different level. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, probably, 
I think ma- maybe just keep to myself a bit more leading up to the competition. How so? Think, um, like, just listening to music and thinking about doing my best the whole day coming up before it instead of um, instead of letting my mind wander off in other directions. Just try and keep really focused. What did, what did you think about the... Was there anything... Obviously, it's a hard comp. It's a Junior World Cup, but was there anything about the level or the way people fenced that was different to what you expected? Well, um, it, it was really different in the way that, like... When you're at a comp in Australia, everyone's kind of, everyone's at a predetermined level. Like, you kind of know if the person's going to be better or worse than you. But at a Junior World Cup, I feel like everyone's kind of on the same playing field. And that, like, someone with a totally, or just really ugly form can, like, be the guy who has really nice form just because he has so much more thirst for victory and more tricks. And, yeah, it was really interesting seeing that. All right, awesome. Thanks, man.